many of us in today's world are very stressed and one of the biggest things that actually causes us stress is rushing. Most humans are going around in a panic, flight or fight, adrenaline mode and getting ever increasingly gradually exhausted and depleted. This is actually coupled with the diet of the modern man, this modern human. In this video I want to share with you ways in which we can powerfully transform our peace levels. In my life I rarely get particularly stressed. I try aim to have more and more what I call meditative living, at least slowing down and smelling the roses enjoying life much more, having life much more of an adventurous theme to it, much more of an adventurous spirit. But in this video I want to suggest enjoying your life through peace and tranquility. Have peace and tranquility at the forefront of your emotional senses. Have life much more of a pleasure for you which you enjoy not so much a fast paced active energy of, of, of um, enjoy, like having fun and playing and excitement which, which we do that too but in the ordinary times during our day such as traveling um, doing errands, chores, working I want to suggest that you do it more meditatively or meditatively, more zen-like, more peace, more tranquility, more calm. So usually humans get stressed because there are so many things to do. They have a list of things to do and they feel overwhelmed. They, as a result, they start to rush. So when <laughs> when we rush, we don't enjoy this present moment. Basically, what we're saying is, I don't like now, I don't like this present moment. I want to shove it aside. It's a means to an end. That is what I want to say. Humans are living in a state of consciousness where they view their life, their moment, as a means to an end. Their activity, their work, their job, their traveling, their waiting in the queue. Everything is a means to an end. And the more your life becomes a means to an end, the more you don't live your life. Because when something is a means to an end, it's viewed as worthless, um, unenjoyable, unvaluable. And it's not savoured, experienced, enjoyed. More so, we live in a, a blurry world of unconsciousness where you're waiting to get to the next moment in a sense of striving or unease or even stress or even hating the, the present moment. Many people get caught up in traffic jams, for example, road rage. They hate what's happening. They want to go somewhere. They're really impatient and in a rush and they get stressed. And then they, they, they go over boiling point when somebody goes ahead of them or doesn't let them out, for example. So other people just like get really bored and, and like unhappy in the queue uh, in the store or in the bank. Other people are working and they don't enjoy their jobs and they just go around the job in a very lifeless state. So how about we increase and bring more life to the things that we do? Bring more zest, more zeal, more happiness, more enjoyment, more service. This will transform your work and your life. Smell the roses, look around, enjoy the traveling. If you're not actively seeking to enjoy the traveling, that's fine. But what you can do and what I'm saying in this video is to feel peace and tranquility. Let peace and tranquility permeate your being. Breathe, slow down, use your senses more, listen. 
become one with your listening become one with your surroundings imagine you're like melt into your surroundings melt into everything your mind stops things just become slow at peace the opposite is when you're not melting into your surroundings you're fragmented and thinking about the past or obsessing about the future the next point the next moment in your journey Buddhists practice mindfulness and that is what I'm suggesting here more or less and that is to pay close attention to the details of the present moment and slow down a lot or else a little bit at the beginning it's very helpful to slow down a lot and then you'll realize just how much difficult it is to slow down a lot because you're in such a rush if you weren't in a rush it'd be easy to slow down a lot wouldn't it <laughs> So you try it out, okay? For me, this has brought me so much happy, peace in my life. I won't even say happiness, but peace and happiness are connected. But really, sometimes the predominant emotion is peace, and other times the predominant emotion can be happiness and elation. Other times the predominant emotion can be the faster frequency of excitement and enthusiasm, Shh, much faster vibration. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's better because they say light is very fast vibration. They say love is a huge, mass, very strong, fast vibration. Gratitude, appreciation. I love peace and I love all of these things. And there's a time and a place for all of these things. But the state of humanity at the moment is that most of us are dwelling in stress, rush, non-enjoyment, and a disturbance of inner peace and peace of mind at the moment okay I would really love for you to have much 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 more peace in your life so when you talk talk mindfully talk carefully you don't have to do this all of the time but you can do this some of the time when you walk up the stairs to, in your house or when you walk to your shop or when you drive in your car or you sit on the bus when you brush your teeth or get into the shower when you take your clothes off or put your clothes on in the morning when you're underneath the water in the shower or in the bath when you're looking at the neighbors or when you're playing with your dog or your pet pay attention be really present this is a similar to a teaching of Eckhart Tolle definitely it's strongly connected and resonant very peaceful I actually feel the peace right now even the vibration is the vibration of peace and calmness and relaxation for me one of the greatest teachings in all of spirituality and in life my possibly one of my number one messages would be to relax to relax and enjoy your life more The ego epitomizes non-relaxation and stress and separation and fighting and, and animosity. But the higher self epitomizes peace and enjoyment, centeredness and calm, and as a result, clear thinking and clear perception. So when you're doing these little things in life, closing your door to leave the room or closing the door of your car, pay close attention and slow down, okay? And notice the little details that you are overlooking before. Savor and lap up the moment. It's beautiful. You can really enjoy the colors of the door. The the way it feels walking up the stairs. If you're going for a walk in nature or walking to the shop or something, feel your body, breathe. Because when you're rushing, you're not breathing, you're not aware you're breathing, I mean. But when you slow down, you become aware of the small, fine details of life, which are the essence of life. The simple little things that you see in your home, the little things you become aware of when you're out walking, 
the birds and the trees, the, the beautiful sky above you, beautiful blue, white clouds, the wind in your hair, it's gorgeous. There's a the feel of the air against your skin, how, how your body feels to be moving your legs. So you can bring in magic into your home and, out, and outside of your home all of your life. Because your life is both lived in your home and then outside of your home, everywhere else. So if you can bring in mindfulness and meditation into your living, shroud yourself in peace. I want you to feel peace, calmness and tranquility. And isn't this a lovely thing to feel and share with other people? Calmness, relaxed, relaxation. very beautiful so as a result you will start to enjoy your life much more your stress levels will go down significantly you'll have more fun and happiness and peace you may also feel stirred or inspired into spontaneous action such as playfulness smiles extra friendliness that you weren't doing before or even commentary on things that you didn't see before like and then you can even compliment people and like you notice their necklace more or you see the colour of their eyes more. This is like life changing. Then you can also stop and smell the roses more. You can stop and touch a tree for example. You can stop and become very present with the emotional state of somebody. Your wit. Pay close attention to them. Look at them and feel and see beyond their words their emotional state and how they're really feeling and maybe what they really need for example when you live this slow way this slower more conscious way just gradually introducing it into your life which anybody can do your mind will also similarly slow down and relax so when you're with somebody and they are upset or disturbed or annoyed instead of your mind flying off into the deep end and becoming very energized and active and often it's in a negative way you can deeply in a zen meditative mo mode <clears throat> feel from your heart and Feel compassion, tenderness, love and care for this person. And you can be their friend instead of their enemy. And you can remain in more, in more peace, much more peace, instead of getting stressed. Resistful, resentful and annoyed yourself. You can talk to them in a civil, caring manner. <clears throat> <clears throat> So maybe it's time to end this video now because I had some <laughs> I had some chard or something in a juice. <laughs> it's a beetroot juice and it's kinda like itching my throat. But it's been a pleasure now to make and share this video video with you. Thanks for joining and feel welcome to leave any questions or comments or topics you'd like me to address and I'll be more than happy to be of service and help and enjoy making a video so take care and until next time lots of love <laughs>